Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is going to be episode three of building the Citadel in Lego. This episode is going to be way more progress to look at than the past couple of videos. I had all the parts that I needed, so I got to start working on the mountains and the Citadel Tower, as well as I just changed up a little bit of stuff with the lava to make it look a little bit better. So I'm really proud of all of that. I would have liked to be able to spend more time with this, but it is the holiday season, so there isn't that much time to go around for Lego kind of stuff. And I am very excited to announce Light My Bricks as a sponsor of the series. So they are going to help me out with different lighting components that I need to make the mock that much more grand. So I'm very excited to announce them as a sponsor for the series. But with that all out of the way, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and let's get right into it. All right, so I've made a decent amount of progress, and the first thing that I want to mention is the lava. I did go through and just add in way more bulbs. So as you can see, before there was like two here. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, and then a few over there too. So I did take all of the flicker boards that I had and concentrate them more over on this side. So it definitely worked out. I think Light My Bricks will be sending me a few more of those, which is really exciting. And I think overall this just looks so much better. I mean, there's so much more to look at. So this is the lava so far. And then back here, you can kind of see I've started building up a little bit of a platform behind here. So this is going to be the start point for the rock wall. And my plan for the rocks is going to be the kind of Solid Brick Studios slash Brick Builder Studios technique of doing the plates on their sides and then just building up with different slopes and wedges the actual rock formations. So I've started laying the groundwork for that. Right now I just have a few of these little bracket kind of snot pieces to attach a wall on temporarily. And I think what I'm going to do at the end of all of this is just make kind of a box skeleton out of Technic and then just have the inside of the mountain be pretty much hollow with just outer panels for the rocks and then the sides will just and I did actually make a little bit of progress with that so I'll go ahead and pop that panel on and then show you guys what it looks like. All right taking a look at the first iteration of the rock wall this is basically my plan for the entire rock section of this mock. It's basically going to be divided into layers as you can see there's kind of that strip there on the top and then one kind of bordering the bottom. And on the bottom, it's less pronounced, but there on the top, you can definitely kind of see that layer effect. So I'm definitely going to be focusing on doing multiple layers going all the way up the mountain. I feel like this is the closest that we can get in a Lego form to the Clone Wars show while also still having it look good in Lego as well as being kind of realistic-ish because this is a realistic-ified version of the Clone Wars. So that's kind of everything that I've been thinking about and all that kind of going into the rocks and I'm definitely very happy with how this looks and just especially with the lava the lights turned on it really glows nicely and I just love that gray and purple versus the yellow contrast it's such a cool look in the show and it really translates nicely into Lego as well so I'm really happy with this I think the purple is definitely going to help add in that color and I think this is kind of the approach that I'm going to take. So this is the idea that I have going on for the rocks and I'm definitely excited to expand on this and see what it looks like over the course of the entire mock. So this is what I've been spending the most amount of time working on. This is actually the start of the Citadel Tower. As you can see, it is fairly long, and this is actually going to be put vertical, at least at a slight angle, but mostly vertical. And so this is definitely going to be very, very tall. Basically, the way that I designed this structure is a bunch of bricks. As you can see, this whole stretch is made up of bricks and they're at a slight angle so I don't know if you can kind of see there it is a triangular kind of shape because the Citadel Tower actually has a slight pitch to it so just on the ends here I do have some panels and I'll show you guys this closer up in a few minutes here but basically the idea is I have some panels which basically form a track and if I take this long string of plates and tiles and they kind of just sit right in 
like so. I don't have a way to connect these currently, but you can kind of see what that is going to look like. And just imagine this obviously being attached into a wall. And so I think this is a definitely a good start. I was a little bit concerned originally about the angle being a little bit too steep, but I think that this is actually going to work out pretty well. And the way that I built it, I'll show you guys up close later on as well, but I used a bunch of sausage pieces attached into snot bricks. So this thing is actually fairly strong, which is really nice. I wanted to kind of stray away from using hinges just because hinges can bend back and forth and I just didn't want to have to deal with that. And one of the other things that I'm pretty proud of is I have these kind of dark gray stripes here. And it seems like it would be the easiest thing to figure out, but the way that I built this, I actually had to come up with some panel techniques and stuff like that. So I'm actually really happy with those. But now I'll take you guys into a little bit of a closer up look and show you guys the kind of inner workings of the Citadel. All right, so we have it in a close up view now so I can show you guys the interior structure of this. And the first thing I'll do is just pull off this layer of the plates and tiles. So as you can see, basically the only thing is just one layer of plates and then a layer of tiles on top. And I do have some of the dark bluish gray here just so that it lines up like this with the stripes of the dark bluish gray going by and that actually looks really really nice so i'm pretty happy with that and the way that this whole entire structure is built is there is basically a bunch of bricks stacked up and then towards the top because of the way that i built this originally and figuring out the structure this is all a bunch of plates with panels right on top of it so that is the reason for these kind of panel things. Otherwise, this would just be straight up bricks going all the way to the edge. But I did this whole layer of these plates here. And so underneath these, if I kind of try and pop this up here, you can kind of see the interior structure of the way it's built. But as you can see, there is a line of the light bluish gray that goes through there. And if I didn't care, I could have just rolled with that and put in the dark bluish gray. But I wanted this to be just a complete straight stripe of that dark bluish gray. So this is the way that I came up with to kind of counteract that. I don't know how well you guys can kind of see in there, but basically it's a telescope piece right here with a stud with a hole in the center attached to a bar clip. And basically this just gives me enough attachment points so that I can attach two of these road signs. And that basically just makes the full stripe in dark bluish gray. So I'm really happy with that. And then this one over here is a little bit more simple. It's basically just some headlight bricks attached to more of those dark bluish gray panels. And then in, underneath there, there's a little bit of a stud reversal. So if I kind of pull this thing up, you can see the interior structure is basically just some one by two plates here to attach the two sides. And then I have this two by four plate with some tiles on it just to keep it from popping out. Because if I take that off, it slides in. But if you flip it upside down, it falls right out. So that is basically the reason that I did that. In there, you can kind of see the underside of that two by four plate on the other side that holds in this panel. So that is basically this, and the actual structure, as I mentioned, was made up of these sausage pieces. So if I kind of move this stuff out of the way here, I do have a little bit of a demonstration. So basically, right here, I just have some snot bricks, the regular one by ones, and if I take my sausage piece and I angle it in like so and just push this together all the way, then I take my other snot brick and do the same thing. There you have an angle and this thing is sturdy. It doesn't bend or move because of that sausage piece. This is actually really, really cool. Uh, I like building this way because as I mentioned with the hinges, it has that flex and that bend. So it's kind of hard to get it to stay where you want it. You'd have to add in other connection points just to make sure that it doesn't bend or bow. So this way it gives you that kind of angle, which I can definitely make work as well as just having it be structurally sound and this thing is not moving or going anywhere. So that is the interior structure and I can kind of point out where I have those on here. As your eyes scan along the top, you can kind of see those one by ones. There's one right there and there's another one. So every eight to 10 studs, I have one of those connected 
and this just gives it a super nice structure and this thing is actually pretty rigid as you can see i'm kind of bending it and twisting it and it stays together fairly well so this is the basis for the citadel tower and i'll give you guys another view where i kind of just hold it up next to the actual mock so you can see really how tall this thing is going to end up being so i'll go ahead and cut to that right now all right so i moved the camera to a position that you can kind of see what it looks like if i hold this up so i'll go ahead and place this pretty much where it will be sitting in the mock as you can see the top point is still out of reach or out of view for you guys so this thing is going to be very very tall as you can tell though it is way taller than the mountain is right now and the mountain is probably going to end up being around this height so this is actually only like halfway up the entire citadel tower so this thing is going to be very very tall probably approaching three feet i would say and it's going to add in so much height to this mock and really make it stand out all right guys that is going to wrap up episode three of building the citadel I'm very proud of the amount of work that I was able to get done. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is obviously the holiday season, so there's a lot of stuff going on at work, as well as with family and making plans for the holidays and things like that. So I am very proud of everything that I was able to get done. Obviously, there's always going to be that part of me that wishes I could have gotten more done, but I am still pleased with the amount of progress that I made for this video. And I'm hoping that the next coming episode will be even bigger than this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future updates for the Citadel. But that's all for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. And special thank you to Light My Bricks again for sponsoring this series. That is all for me. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.